This is a service called uh, DocDrop. And uh, I'm going to show you what it's good for and kind of how it works. Um, it's, it's used, as you'll see in a second here, for um, allowing you to access in an easy fashion the closed captions that go along with a YouTube video. So I'm going to enter here uh, one of my YouTube videos and we'll see what we get. All right, so on the left-hand margin here, um, or the left-hand column, you see um, all of the text version uh, of the sound that uh, is associated with, with this YouTube. And it's, it's synchronized, and that's what the doc drop um, means in that as the YouTube plays, you'll see that um, the the text uh, will will scroll. Now, in and of itself, this is kind of interesting and useful. But I want to show you how DocDrop uh, has been kind of designed to work with a layering application that I have written about uh, before. And actually, um, along with this video, I will uh, link to that to that other um, that other video. And what that video shows um, is an annotation, a layering annotation system uh, called uh, Hypothesis. Now, Hypothesis in this case um, is. Uh, it's a, an extension that I have added um, to, um, to this Chrome browser. So it appears up here um, in the menu bar, menu button. And I'm going to turn it on by clicking on it. And you don't really see anything yet, except now it's active. And what I want to do is I'm going to sign in. So it's kind of hard to see, but um, you can see it's it's open. There's nothing really visible. And now I'm going to uh, log in. And you see some interesting things right right away. First of all, um, as is the case with layering, um, you are adding comments, in this case highlights, and um, I should say not comments, but you're adding highlights and annotation or comments um, to something that's out there. So the YouTube video is out there. The, uh, the closed caption version of the audio of the YouTube video is really out there. Um, you just don't see it. DocDrop allows you to see it in a convenient fashion. Um, but you can act. But you can add to this um, the, the the things that are out there uh, through this layering system. Um, uh, additional elements, and you're really not modifying the original video or the original um, captions at all. You are creating something that ends up being layered on top of this content, and is only available. Um, if you are using the layering system. And in this case, because I, I have a hypothesis set to private, it's only uh, visible to me. So if I want now to uh, explore this, and as I go take notes or highlight things that uh, are, are important, that's what this would be good for. So I'm just going to play this a little bit. So you can see, I'll have to turn it up, I think. An effort to explain how mastery courses actually work. These are the components that uh, are kind of assembled or put together to, uh, to create a, a course based on uh, the theory of mastery learning. Uh, the, com the components include objectives or goals, small units of instruction, multiple non-punitive assessments, mastery before progress, and a method of remediation 
key to individual issues. The whole idea of mastery implies that it's important to know certain things or to develop certain skills. Uh, these might be described then as the objectives or the goals of the learning process. So so what's, what's happening here as it's playing is uh, it's actually scrolling in a coordinated fashion. Now you see it at the top between what I'm hearing or what you're hearing, I guess, and what you can read. Um, the interesting thing about this when combined with hypothesis is, let's say I hit something that I think is very important. Um, I can at that point stop um, the video and I can go in uh, I should look for something important first um, and 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 highlight this and you'll see now the these things that come up here give me two options and this is now I've activated hypothesis on top of doc drop and I can highlight this section. Now this, when I come back, play this video again and um, for my use sometime in the future, and if I've logged into um, Hypothesis, I could again go through here and find the material that I've highlighted. I could also, uh, at this point, take a note or an annotation uh, and augment what's actually in there um, maybe to you know think about other kinds of things that might relate to this um, so there's various ways of thinking about about using this system you can use it as a learner so if I'm studying this content as might be the case um, for a student in a um, in a flipped classroom um, I could go through and highlight important things and take notes. Uh, or I could imagine using this um, as a teacher who is using a video created by someone else. And I might want to convey to my students, here's some things that are important. Here's some things I want you to pay uh, particular attention to. And I could do that by you know what I'm showing you here. I could um, create this composite, this layered effect. I can share that specifically with students through um, the options available in Hypothesis, and I could highlight for my students and add comments or questions, perhaps, um, you, you, using the system. Now, just to show you very quickly what, what the... Uh, note-taking thing looks like. Um, let's say I come down here, and in this case, I'm going to annotate. Now you can see um, I, I haven't made my screen quite large enough, but I've, I have some other kinds of things, and what's going to happen here is this would be where I would add a note, and down here you can see something um, that, that shows you some options. Now the options the default might be public until I've used it, and if I use it, then I can set it to private, or I can set it to group, and that's more that's more something about how, how hypothesis works. Um, So, uh, and so basically that's, that's the system. So um, maybe more importantly, you can move about. So if I click here, it'll go back to that location, go back to that location. So reviewing um, or maybe just skimming. Let's say you've gone all the way through this as a learner and a week from now you have a a, a, a test coming up and you want to review um, the content that uh, that you have been studying you don't have to listen to all of that content again 
you can go through you, you can go through these notes you can look at what you've highlighted you can look at what you've commented on and if there's something you don't quite understand you want to hear the original again all you have to do uh, is, is click at that location on that comment it will take you in the video back to that location you probably want to back up a little bit then but then you could play it and and listen to it again so it's a quick demonstration of DocDrop. Um, it is a it is a web based service. So you go there, um, and I'll again put the link in uh, the notes that go along with this video. You would add to it in this case um, something um, from YouTube. It would immediately pull out all of the closed caption content synced to the time uh, in the video where that commentary was produced and if you then you can just use that as is but again what I'm recommending here is you use this in combination with hypothesis which is a layering service and that would allow you then to add to this pure text and video highlights and notes either for your own use or for sharing with with learners